ayudarse, ¿no? Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine. And you? Pretty, pretty good. Thank you so much. I'm just about to finish my other class. So that's why I came like three minutes late. But don't worry about it. Okay. Very you, well. you know what? It's because they were like asking so many questions. Like I have to like, you know what, guys? <laughs> I have another baby. Hey, how are you guys? Hi. Hey, how are nice you? to meet you. Very good. I'm so nice happy. To meet you too. Oh, Very wow. happy. Yes. I have a lot of energy. Like, like uh -huh. uh, maybe I have drunk like three real bulls. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. We have some beautiful ladies here and a really handsome man. Saul, how are you, Mr. Kahura? Hey. Hi, Saul. Hey, Saul. Saul. Hi. Wow. We have yes, baby girls. We have uh, girls and boys. Very good. Well, I need to say hi to Olympia, Gabby, Noemi, uh, Lisa, uh, Sarah, Roxy, Luis, Jennifer, Danny, Leticia, Felix, Paolo, Jamie, Ciro. Silver Monteros, I think I know that guy. Okay, <laughs> very good. And I'm Marie. new in, in this class. No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, I love your background. I cannot show you mine, but you know what? I love Snoopy. <laughs> yeah, hey, where's Snoopy? What about this stuff? <laughs> All right, I'm so nice. happy. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Pretty good. This is the first time together, right? At least with me. Yes, it is the first time. It's the first time, right, Felix? Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Hopefully, we can find and uh, have so much fun as well. My name is Sylvia. I'm gonna be your English teacher for this whole model. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not that just sounds great. Yeah. You know what, Felix? I want to see your beautiful face. I think you're handsome, but I'm not sure. <laughs> really? Well, I'm not sure I'm until really I ugly. see you. I, oh, my God. At least Saul is honest. Yeah, he's really ugly. <laughs> Saul, don't be like that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Felix believe is, me, I am so ugly. Really, Luis? Yeah, no. I am a monster. No, come on. What about Felix? What about Rainer? I want to see your beautiful faces. Or maybe you're a completely disaster right now. You're with your pajama. Maybe. Yeah, it could be something like that. <laughs> uh, at least Felix is honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let me check my, my computer right now. Ah, okay. Don't tell me my camera is not working. It's lies. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I know. I don't believe you. That is the most uh, used uh, lie for all my students. And no way. Tell me. Yay. Yeah, very hey. good. Hi, Daniela. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi. We have a lot of people here. Oh, my goodness. We have 22. That's amazing. Oh, it's going to be really hard for the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys, well, it's going to be our first day. Hopefully, everything's going to be right. Well, I'm going to be your teacher, so sorry. You need to, like, be patient with me because I have a lot of energy, right? Well, let's talk, let me give you, a, like, my brief explanation about myself. I'm 30-something and living like that way, right? <laughs> uh, I love to teach. Um, you are, will be my babies from now on. I have babies. Um, I hope I can um, help you, right? With a, a little bit of knowledge that I have. I always consider that a, a good teacher is the one that opens a mind, give you a hand, but most important, touch your heart. Okay? <laughs> so that's why I'm here. So we're going to be, be like more like no English, a, a teacher and a student. I don't like that. We're going to be a family. We're going to be a team. 
that's why we'll be here. I know I'm so happy that you're here. Don't make me cry. <laughs> you too. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you the truth. Because that's the way that I work. And I'm so happy that you are here. I know that for some of you, it's a little bit like um, maybe like extra effort, right? Because you are tired of your job, of your studies, or it has been like a tough day, or you live far away. But the the way that you are here, that you show your beautiful face, right, Felix? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time that I see you guys, I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, it says uh, for me that um, the effort is worth it. And, um, and also because um, it shows your commitment. F uh, Leticia, you, don't, you didn't know that the word worth it, right? Or a commitment. Do you understand that? Leticia? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Because you said like, yes, teacher. Like that, like, um, like that B question mark face. That's what I asked you about that. No, no. <laughs> ah, okay. No question mark in my face. No, but, but in my case, yes. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. As long as you understood, <laughs> okay. good for me. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, teacher. No, thank you. Thank you guys for being here and go an extra mile. And make your effort okay every time that i see you i'm like happy i'm happy i'm so happy so in that case we're gonna work hard i'm a nice teacher but i'm a hard teacher as well and i have to let you know i love grammar by heart i love grammar you cannot imagine so with me you will have two choices uh, to speak or to speak which one you prefer the first one the first one right Luis? <laughs> the second I think one the, the second one okay but you know what the problem is Thank that you, both, both of them are the same <laughs> welcome yes welcome to the juggle sorry welcome to the class all right <laughs> and elena is like oh my goodness yes welcome because if you see guys right now you have been speaking right you see yeah right so you're gonna speak with me Nah, that I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna participate. No way. You will participate with me. You will have so much fun, but at the same time, we're gonna learn. Because I, I, ha I, I have a, a slogan that says "Practice makes perfection." So we're gonna practice a lot, okay? And I want to know, guys, what are your expectations for this model? Could you please let me know? What do you need? Which areas you think that you need, like? Uh huh, Jennifer. Um, teacher. Practice to okay. speak. Who says teacher? Okay, very good, Jennifer. Teacher. I, I, she's like teacher's like wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> oh my goodness! Every, go yeah, ahead, this, Jennifer. Go this, ahead. Yes, ladies first, Louis. Come on. <laughs> okay, Jenny. Okay, go ahead. I'm happy to be here in this class, and I hope to learn a lot, but practice a lot because I have maybe almost one year without practice to speak. Ah, no, don't worry. You will, you will say, teacher, I don't want to speak. You know what? Every night you will say, oh my God, my cheeks hurts a little bit. <laughs> right? Yes, I'm yeah. sure. Uh-huh. Definitely you will have a pain on your cheeks. I promise. <laughs> but that's good okay. thank you jenny what about okay now listen to luis okay luis what about you well 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 about me yes um, yes i need a lot of practice uh i also i need um improve my grammar because um i i don't have no experience that's my goal to, to this course very good excellent so two skill two skill right grammar and um, speaking, of course, you will. I promise, my man. I promise that. Excellent. Thank Good you, job. Teacher. Thank you. Who else? Please, one at a time. Don't hesitate. One at a time. I know everybody wants to participate, but come on, okay? All right, all right. All right. So if nobody wants to say, okay, I'm going to like choose, pick like randomly. Huh? <laughs> all right. Saul, what about you? Hi, Mr. Kapura. Uh, okay. Yes. My name is Saul Kanhura. I don't know if you are listening. Yes, yes. Because I, uh, sometimes I have problem with my speaker. 
I don't know why. Uh, when I I got my my stuff, mm -hmm. I had problem with the mic. But now um, a little bit. Okay. And I hope to to remember a lot of words that I forgot in English because oh, I have sorry. a long time of practicing and I I listen you are speaking a lot and that is good for me. I have I I hope to learn to learn again. Okay. Thank you. You will definitely. Yeah. He said, "Long time we are speaking." Huh? You can, yeah. You express yourself very good. So that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. You broke my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. So excellent job. Very good. Who else? Who else? Uh, okay, Felix. Now that I can see your beautiful face, is your turn. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. <laughs> um. I would like to practice my English skills, um, speaking first, fluency, and maybe pronunciations. That's that I that I need to to increase. I I thought you were about to to sing. You said when you said like that's what I that's what I. And you, I think you said that's yeah. what I need you to most, right? Yeah, I will, right? I will, I think like he's about to sing. That's great. Oh. <laughs> nah, just teasing you. Hey, you're going to learn different things. So I think, as far as I understood, guys, all of you needs to improve, right? Let me check. Improve your English skills, right? All right, skills. Am I correct? You know what improve means? Improve? Yeah? Yes. yes. Everybody yes. tell me? Yeah? Yeah? Yes. Letty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That means better and better and better, right? <laughs> Every day, better and better. And the skills? Of course, right? You know, right? Abilities, right? Speaking, writing, listening, reading. You know what? Hmm. Don't think that writing is just writing and writing. No way. Or reading is that I'm gonna read. No way. With me, you will you will see that reading has a lot of divisions. And as well, listening. Yeah. You cannot imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So prepare for the jungle that is about to start. Well, I think it's already started, by the way. Very good. Okay, excellent. Who else? Anybody else? Okay, thank you so much. Who can help me with it? Uh, Naomi. No, oh, sorry, Naomi. Yes, Naomi, right? Yeah, Naomi. Yeah. I, you know what? I have a friend. She's like 17 years old. Her name is Naomi. Mm. And you know what? I love her. She's like, okay. <laughs> okay, girl, go ahead. Hello, teacher. Hi. My name is Naomi. And I hope to speak English like like he, if it was my my first language and i think i have to to work really really hard in my pronunciation and grammar because if someone talks to me in english i'm like mm, yeah i understand but if i have to talk i'm like mm, i don't know or if I have to write, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know. You in, freak in out. Words, yeah, yeah, I am freaked out. Freak out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? I, I, well, no, but don't worry now. Thank you now. But don't worry. Do your, you will get your self-confidence, right? Because that is exactly what you need. And you will find, guys, a, that uh, for most of the words that you said, I know a song that has that that word like freak out all right thank you now thank you now you will see it you will be able to do it appreciate it thank you yes we're going to practice a lot thank you so much for sharing what exactly what you want what your expectations are roxy are you want you want to say something i i need to improve my speaking skill is is the most important part i think and and i would like to speak more but mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely and you're going to do it but please 
uh, maybe we're going to, okay, sometimes maybe there will be a time that um, we have to use Spanish for some reason, okay? But please try to avoid use in Spanish because we're intermediate three, right? Yes. One before advanced, am I right? Yes. So we have to speak more English. But of course, there will be like some ideas that maybe you're like, how am I going to say that? My, one of the recommendations that I give to my students is that um, don't look for sophisticated words. Try to use the vocabulary that you know so far. Okay. Of course, in English, there are many ways to say exactly the same idea. Okay. My babe, my baby Roxy knows one way to say it that Leticia doesn't. Maybe, right? Or vice versa is an example. Okay. Yeah, don't take it personal. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. But it just use the vocabulary that you know so far. We're learning, right? So in the process of this model, or maybe in the process, because you're going to continue learning English, you will increase your vocabulary. Like in Spanish, I'm going to say this uh, idiom in Spanish because there's no translation in English, right? So I had to say it. Remember that is Pam para mi matata, right? Remember that? That means that yes. something, yeah, yes, I do. put it inside the bag, mm -hmm. and that is for my own purposes for using in the future, right? Yeah. So basically, that's, that's what you take, okay? Every word, you, I guarantee you, you're going to learn new words every single class. And if, brand, if it's not new for you, that's okay. But if it's brand awesome. new for you, you can put it in your sack, in your bag, right? Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, any more questions? Any more um, doubts? You want to express something? Jennifer or Carlitos Armando Guevara? No, I'm okay. You okay. All right. What about you, Dennis? Ulysses? Marina Resinas? Gabriela Gutierrez? Paolo? Hi. Hi. Good, <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Maria. Um, I have a question. Go ahead, Is Gabriela. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my first time in, in this of Insapor course okay and i would like to know how is the the procedure um, of evaluate uh, this this course ah, evaluate you guys i know that is uh, by by myself doing uh, or feeling this uh, this the, platform the platform yes uh -huh. uh huh. Uh, but what else? Because uh, ah. this is new for me, and even online. I don't see, like, worry. Mm -hmm. You know what? Every day I'm going to evaluate you. You don't notice about that. Okay. <laughs> My God. Yeah, Luis. Every day I'm going to evaluate your participation, your pronunciation. Um, I'm gonna. Um, Evaluate your, your, your homework, your vocabulary, yeah, everything. You're listening. Okay. So don't worry, okay? I evaluate you every single day. And also, I'm not I, worried, but I am so nervous. Don't, I, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, you should, if you're nervous, you're worried. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm going to evaluate you. In a different way. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes we're going to like make like some recap. But one game that names Kahu, you will love it, I promise. Uh, and that will help, help us like recap everything that we have seen. But also it will help you like to auto evaluate and to like check for yourself, hey, I'm doing this on this side, but <clears throat> I'm got improved on the other one, right? And also will help me as well, how you're like catching all the information. And of course, with your participation, with your uh, doing your homeworks, um, with mm -hmm. your being in class, okay? Because I understand that maybe for some reason something might happen to you, but I, please, I want you to be in class. Because it's not, it's not the same that if you click on the YouTube link and watch it after, like to be here in live with me. It's totally different. Because you might have a chance to ask something or you, you can like express yourself or if you have any 
any doubts about some topic, but any doubts about the platform as well, I will be able to help you. So I please, I, I beg you all, well, I encourage you to be like, to try to be as, uh, as has a hundred percent here in class. Okay. okay. And if possible, turn it on I'm your more. camera. Okay. You're off. At least you're in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> With a little no, tiger no, pajama, please, no. right? Ah, come on. No, no, Luis. No, Luis. No. Okay. I know. See you. <laughs> I I want to see you. <laughs> okay. Very good. I, I, am I answer your uh, your question, Gabby? Yes. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Okay. So I know that this is something that you already know by heart, right? But I just want to know if you remember this topic. That is an easy peasy quiz one. Hey, let me ask you guys, what day is the date? Wednesday, Wednesday 14th. Uh -huh. 14th. Uh -huh. Wednesday, Wednesday 14th. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> All right, okay. July yes. 14th. Okay, today is Wednesday, definitely. Okay, what else? 14th July. 14th July. Uh-huh. 14th July. Oh, okay. Don't think in Spanish. July 14th. July 14th. All right. So today is Wednesday, July 14th, what? 2021, I think. You can say 2021 or 2021. 2021. But you say 14th or 14th? 14th. 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 
just How many, many? Wednesday, July 14th. <laughs> okay. Uh, almost, almost perfect. Almost, I said. But I'm missing one, the, two, three things. The capital comma. letters. Aha, aha. Okay, Letty, try your best. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. You're welcome. You're my teacher. Yeah, uh, can you please write uh, the, um, the date again for me? Oh my goodness, you're like freaking out. <laughs> okay, I will give you a chance. Uh, Elena, what about you? Do your best. No. Come on. Nah, I told oh, you, you, have, so you have two choices always practice or practice. And God is like, I already noticed what she's, what she's saying. Alrighty. <sighs> Glenda. If... My God, too much commas. Uh huh, too much commas. <laughs> too much commas or too many commas? <laughs> too many, too many commas, yeah. <laughs> yes, Glendy. Almost. I tried. <laughs> yeah, you did your best. Very good. Uh, Saulito, what about you? For me? Can you please write today's date for me? Okay. If I can. Uh, what? If, you, if you can write today's date. Uh, today's date. Yes. Today is. Uh, on the, on the chat. Yeah. On the chat. On the chat. Uh huh. On the Zoom okay. chat, please. Oh, 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 I have problem with the, with that uh, writing, in, right no. now. Uh huh. In the chat. Yeah. Uh huh. Do your best. Yeah. I can't write. Right uh, you now. can't. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can. You can. You, you can do you it. Can. You can do it. Do your best, Abuelito. But uh, I don't know the way to write in the web. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Just look up the, the class. Okay. And you, I'm going to ask you tomorrow. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. Gabriela, what about you? Well, I think. Uh, write it. Write it. Right We're now. practicing the writing, yeah. guys. Okay. And this, I think this might sound a little bit like easy, but it's not. And Eleni is like. <laughs> okay, July 14th, something like that. Almost, almost, but you're still missing almost? something, guys. Almost. <laughs> okay, let's, let's. A period after one? Ah, uh huh, uh huh, Elenita. Uh... Okay. Okay, let me let me uh, like evaluate the parts that are good. You said Wednesday, right? So you said Wednesday, all right. Uh, when okay. Wednesday, no, wait a minute, I have to like put it here. Wednesday, or Wednesday, coma. Mm -hmm. And then you said July, right? Yeah. July, fourteen. Very good. Mm -hmm. I had to put like separate here. Go. Here, here you go. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. All right. And also, you said 2021, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Dennis. Very good. But, Dennis, you're missing the period at the end. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. It's only one comma. Guys. This is really important. Okay, uh, I, I, I'm not like I'm. I'm not going. I'm. Gonna, I'm not a Spanish teacher, so I'm not gonna evaluate Spanish. But I really care about how you write English. Yes, Elenita, go ahead. Okay, teacher, is important the uppercase in the right to the the date. Yes, and let me let you know why. Let me let you know why. Okay, Wednesday is because we're starting a sentence, right? So remember, this is follows exactly the same rules as Spanish. 
that when you're studying a sentence or a question, the first letter of the first word has to be in capitalized. But I had to let you know something. This is a proper name, Wednesday, Tuesday, the, the name of the, uh, the days of the week. So it has to be capitalized, okay? Because it's a proper name. And if you can see, guys, July is the, is the month, right? But you said, A, hey, but this is in the middle of the sentence. Yes, I know that it's in the middle of the sentence, but it's a proper name. Of, is what the name of a month of the year. So you got to put capital J as in Juliet, okay? And then we have the ordinal number. Why is TH? Because of course the termination ends 14th TH, right? And period at the end of the sentence is really important. Why? Because if you do not put the period, that means that you still have something else to say. And we're still waiting for that, for the extra information. So for me, it's really important that you can use, you know how to use punctuation, but at the same time, do not forget it. Let's say that I, I escalate you and evaluate you, and I ask you, hey, tell me what day is the date. And you, and you write it perfectly, but you miss the period at the end of the sentence, for me, it's wrong. Okay? You said, teacher, but it was a period. Yes. But a period is a period. Okay? You know what? I remember when I was um, studying that I forgot three periods in three sentences. There were nine sentences. And all of them, I have it perfect, except for one thing. Guess what? I missed the period. So instead of getting nine, I got six. And I asked the teacher, why? Because I missed the period. But teacher, just a period. Yeah, but I, I, was, I was waiting for the extra information that you were supposed to set. You know what? Since that time, I had never, but never in my entire life, forget about the period. And I was 14 forget years old what? by then. The period. The little dot, period. The yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I had to let you know something. Uh, when we use that little punctuation at the end of the sentence we call period when we use that little punctuation in numbers we call it point 2.5 2.7 for example like in in math right and when we are using that little period in an email address on an email address we call dot remember www.inglescorporativo.com You see? This is the little punctuation that has three names. Depends on the context that you use it. Okay? So it's really important. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to send you like um, information to the WhatsApp about punctuation. Go ahead. Uh, Luis, right? Or who? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, go sorry. ahead. Sir. I just want I just want to uh, uh, ask you a favor. No. Could you please write the three numbers of that dot? Yes, of course. Okay, let me put the first one. Number one. Even though it's going to be in the information that I'm gonna send it to you, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. Number one. It is. We call period. All right. It is at the end of the sentence. Okay. When we use it. Oh, who's sleeping? <laughs> ah, you're not gonna sleep with me. Okay, not there's me, one. Not me. There's one. Number two. Okay, let me check. Number two. I'm going to put it here. Uh, we use it. A uh, period. No. Point. Mm-hmm between numbers, like in math. And number three, we call it dot.
Okay? Already sent it to you. You chat. Okay, I will send you that information with extra information, of course, of the other punctuation signs, right? How you said parentheses, how you said uh, question marks, exclamation marks, colon, semicolon, right? Etc. And how to use them. It's really important. Okay, so you see, guys? We have uh, yeah, we have it already you. started. You're welcome. We already started. You see the practice. Don't feel bad if you don't remember things. You said, "Oh my God, I forgot the comma." Oh, I add an extra comma. Oh, I forgot the period. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. It's not to make you feel bad. No, it's just like for you to refresh a little bit. Okay. Hey, Sassy. I have a cat. He's she's here right now. Okay. And um, and just like to double check and evaluate. Okay. And you said, ah, oh, I need to like study a little bit of the numbers, right? Or punctuation. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, that's what we're here for, right? As I said, practice makes perfection. Okay. Tomorrow I will ask the question, I will ask the same question. Hey guys, what day is today? <laughs> and maybe tomorrow the, the person who I will pick will do it much better. Okay. Yeah. Very good. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, guys. And if you forgot the period, I will kill you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> hey, no, I'm seriously kill you. <laughs> My <laughs> God, <totally> teacher. <laughs> yeah, I'm nice, but at the same time, I'm like, <sighs> especially with grammar, but because I don't care about how you write English, Spanish. I don't care how you write English in a lot, because what I think is that. If you're going to learn a new vocabulary or a new foreign language, in this case it's English, you need to learn it right in a good way. Okay? That's really, really important. Ah, who's sleeping? Who's sleeping? Ha, ah, Luis. Ah. It's Luis. Come on, I knew it. I knew <laughs> no, no. It I swear you. I swear you. I'm not. <laughs> Hi, Luis. We heard, everybody heard you, no? Like, no, no, no. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. You bet. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I know that you have been um, seeing like many topics, right? What is what was the last topic that you saw? Uh, it was a long time ago that I forgot. Lisette is like, uh. <laughs> okay. hey, guys, have you already had the chance to check into the platform by any chance? No? Nice, yeah? Okay. No, no. Okay. So no, some of you, really. yeah, some of you doesn't. Okay. Okay. So today's guys, we're going to talk about a conditional, right? I think so. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, no, we're going to talk about passive voice. Passive voice. Can somebody let me know what is a passive voice? Have you heard it? Have you used it? No? Well, Passive voice, we have two things. We have passive voice with, by, by, and without it. And there are two different things and two different ways to use them. So today, guess what? We're going to learn how to use it with by. For example, mm, let me give a brief example. Uh, Cristobal Colon, right, discovered, remember, discovered, that is a past, right, a regular verb, um, America, okay? That is a regular sentence. How can I transform, or oh, direct one, direct one, how can I transform that sentence into a passive boy with by? Okay. America was discovered by Cristobal Colon. Okay. Easy. Ah, yes, teacher, for you. <laughs> Let me give you another example. Okay, let's talk about what. How is your knowledge of a uh, history, guys? Uh, do you remember which country gave the Statue of Liberty to United States? France. What France? France. We. France, we miss you, France. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway, very good. Okay, so you said the Statue of Liberty was a gift from France, right? No, yes. no. France 
gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States. That is direct one, right? How can you say exactly the same idea with buy? Ah, the Statue of Liberty Statue was, of Liberty given was given to the United States by France. Exactement, oui, monsieur, bravo, excellent, excellent. Very good. Oh, my goodness, you broke my heart. Yeah, you see, you see, that is easy peasy queasy, right? Uh -huh. Ah, yes, teacher. I'm going to show it to you right now. I have prepared a lot of information for you. Are you guys ready? Uh, are you guys ready? Yeah? Yes. Ready. Yeah, with energy, come on. Yes. Yeah. All yes. right, yes. that's the spirit, my girls and men. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so let the blood start. I'm just kidding. There you go. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and please let me know if you can see it. You see it, guys? Yeah? What's the yes. top today's topic? Yeah, I, I can see it. Yes. Pass the boys. Pass the boys with bye. Yes. All right. Guys, um, but th there is one first question that maybe you uh, you have um think about or came into your mind. A. Okay, that's good. Pass the boys with bye. But when do we use it? You see, there are three ways to express an idea with passive voice. Who can help me read it? Okay, thank you so much. Let me see who can help me here. Uh, 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 uh. Felix. Yep. Okay. Just read the three of them, please. All right. We don't know who did the action. Okay. There Second is one. No, there is no there of the action, and uh -huh. the fact it is more important than the door of the action. Very good, thank you. Okay, guys. So the passive voice is the best way to express three things: when we don't know who did the action, when there is no doer of the action, that means something happens, but we but nobody nobody did it. And when the fact is more important than the doer of the action, what what that means is that what is really important is what happened, know who did it. Okay? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Don't, don't worry. I'm going to like explain each of them, and uh, then we're going to like make some extra examples. Okay. First one. My, we don't know who did the action. Okay, do me a favor. Let me check here. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. My house was broken into on Friday. Uh huh. Okay, guys, take a look at that. You said my house, right? My house, whoops, woo was broken into on Friday. Aha. Uh -huh. That means that somebody got into my house. That's what it means. May I ask you guys, in that sentence, do we know who broke into my house? No. No. No, no, no right? No. Uh-huh. We don't know it. We know what happens, but we don't know who did it. You see? Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the first example. And take a look at this one, guys. Take a look at this. Was broken. You see? Because it's passive voice. Was is the passive of what verb? To be. To be. To be. Very good. To be. Why is was and nowhere? Because it's, because it's not plural. Uh-huh. Because it's my house, and my house is what? Singular I eat. Person. Very good. Exactly. And broken. This is the main verb because was is the auxiliary. So, what is the the present tense of broken? Break, 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 break. And broken is the what? Past participle. Past participle of the verb. Very good. Exactly. 
So you said my house was broken into Friday, uh, into on Friday. So pass it boys with, I want you guys to take a look at this because we're going to get into deeply with the grammar in, in a few minutes, okay? But I just want you to start notice about the structure of the sentence. The first, guys, the first example, is it clear? Yes. Yes. Easy yes. peasy queasy, right? Like piece of cake. Okay. The second one. There is no doer of the action. Okay. For example, you said eh, she was killed in an earthquake. Oh, in, you, we can also we can use another example. In a, uh, in a storm. In a storm, okay? Guys, let me ask you, in this particular sentence, who, 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 uh, who killed that girl? We don't know. We, we don't, don't know, know, right? Why? Because don't appear in the sentences. Exactly, because nobody did it. In this case, for example, earthquake, a storm, hurricane, a uh, tornado, those are like a natural situation, right? When nobody has control, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So in this case, we use the passive voice with by when we're talking about that there is no door on the action, but something happens. In this case, she was killed, but there was no live person who did it. It was the nature that she was in the wrong moment, in the wrong place, right? Is it clear? The yes. Second? yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, cool. teacher. Let me double check that one, the third one. Okay. When the fact, it means what happened is more important than the door of the action. Okay. I'm sorry for the ones that loves animals like me, but this is my heart view, but I can say it. My cat was, instead of dog, was ran over by a car. In this case, that means that my cat was killed, right? He passed away or she passed away. Mm -hmm. Guys, yes. in this particular sentence, what is more important? That my cat was passed away or that the car hit my cat? Yes, the car hit the, your car. The car hit the, the car. Are you sure? The car is far away. It's more important. Really? Because I said my cat was run over run by a over. car. The cat. The I car have, car. What is more important? It's run over. Yes, exactly. What happened to my cat is more important than who did it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see the three examples, guys? Yes. Okay. What I want you to take a look is that we're always going to use the past of the verb to be and also the past participle of the verse. Are you with me right now? Yeah, we're good. So far, so good. Yeah. Any yeah. questions? Any doubts? No. No. no Naomi, raise no. the hand, teacher. Red Naomi. Okay, let me go back to you now because I cannot see you. All right, cool. Okay, girl. Okay, now. Where are you now? Oh, yes. Go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead now. And in the second example, mm -hmm. why we capitalize the word storm? Ah, well, I did it because it, for me, it was uh, I was thinking about a stormy <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you can put, this, uh, for example, if you uh, cap, you can capitalize if you have like a name for the storm. Remember? That sometimes there is a name, like Katrina or something like that, right? right? So in that case, a you hurricane. capitalize a hurricane. So in this case, you can capitalize because they name it a proper, right? But in this case, no. I was thinking about Stormy. Okay, <laughs> That's you. okay. Thank you. <laughs> and you know what? I made it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm a really tricky teacher, you know? I'm a really tricky teacher. So you need to be very attention with me because sometimes you might think the teacher made a mistake, but no. 
sometimes I'm, I do that on purpose to figure it out if you're paying attention or if you can find it out a mistake. And the only one who can who let me know that is Naomi. Mm -hmm. So now be careful. I know. Be careful with me. I'm a tricky teacher. And I also am a tricky you're teacher evil. in Yahoo. No, I'm not. I'm nice. I'm a nice girl. <laughs> I'm a legend. You skin. need how to ask a, a medals. A when, medals? Yes. Why? <laughs> when we discovered this trick. Ah, <laughs> no, you can say bravo. You see? Like, woohoo. Yeah. I wish I could have more icons, more emoticons, but I don't. I, they only give me one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All righty, but. Bravo now. Excellent. Uh huh. So, guys, be careful with me because maybe I made a mistake, maybe not. And also in Kahoo, Elenita, just to let you know in advance, I make some mistakes on purpose. So, that is like one step ahead, right? Okay, very good. Shall we continue? Yeah, let's move on. Yes. All right. Let me go back. Yes. All right, cool. So there, this is a structure, guys. I'm going to give you a, a simple sentence. In active voice, that means in present, right? My sister wrote this book. I mean, it's not in present tense. I had to clear, clear it up. It's in past. But it's active because it doesn't have the by. OK, you see, my sister is a subject. The verb wrote is a past tense of which verb? Right, 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 right. right. Is this regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 And then we have the object. Yes, or in this place, the complement, this book. You see? Don't forget mm -hmm. the period at the end. Okay. So this, the sentence is, my sister wrote this book. Very good. Okay. How can I transform this sentence into a passive voice goodbye? Well, take a look. Remember? The object is at the end, right? In the active voice. What happened when I use the same exactly idea, but I transform the sentence into a passive? Here you go, you see? The object now is at the beginning, you see? Then I have yes. was where, the past participle of the verb, by, and the subject that it was at the beginning in the first thing came at the last time. Okay, so now I said the book, was written by my sister you see so that in this case guys what we need to remember is going to be the verbs we're going to use a lot the verbs okay doesn't matter if it's regular or irregular is it clear this is it sample or would you like me to give you another example it's clear is it clear like water or like orchata like water. Like water. Like it's up to you. Like chocolate. A like chocolate. Okay, bravo. <laughs> Fantastic. Ready to go. Or like oil, like petrol. Like gasoline. <laughs> no, no, no. Like crystal. Like crystal. Okay. All righty. So let's continue. You see, the structure of passive is simple. It's simple, guys. Is was or where? You see, guys? I'm, you see? You see this? What I was letting you know, you see, yeah. I'm studying a sentence. So the was is in capital, you see? Was mm -hmm. and where plus the past participle. That's it, guys. That's the structure. You don't complicate your life. Was and where, past participle. That is the structure of passive boys with by, of course. So let's continue. Okay, we have another example here. My sister, this book in 2010, wrote. How can I transform this? This is this is present, this is active, guys. This is a scrabble, you need to uh, unscramble it. Uh-huh. My sister wrote. Uh -huh. My sister wrote this book in 
2010. 2010. In 2010, fantastic. Now I have it in passive voice. My sister, this book by in 2010 written was. How can you transform it? This book was written by my sister in 2010. Ooh, very good. Uh huh. Uh huh. This book was written. Right? Written. Was written. Written. Mm hmm. In 2010 by my sister. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, I will give you some, I will ask you some information here. Okay, guys. This is what I want you to do. Uh -uh -uh. Writing activity right now. But speaking. Okay, guys, I will give you right now the information is here. Pass it with by. But I want you guys to, according to what you have here, complete this information. Let's do this one together, the first one. Let's do it together. You see, you have to use, guys, the verb that is in parentheses, which in this case is win, okay? Okay, the 2000 World Cup final win by Spain. How can I transform that into passive? Mm -hmm. yes, remember, much. remember the structure. I'm gonna use this one. Was one by Spain. Was one. Uh huh. Just remember, guys. Was where plus the past participle of the verb. Uh huh. Was one. You said. Is everybody? Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes. yes or no yes was one was one okay was one okay very good next one ah somebody said that um, loves the, the films right yeah it was a very good movie the film uh -huh. avatar the film was avatar directed was Jane directed Cameron. okay was hey. directed Guys, let me ask, it is a direct, is a verb. It's a regular or a, a regular? It's regular. It's regular. It's regular. It's, it's it regular. Is regular. Regular. Directed. Direct. Uh-huh. Okay. Third one. The novel, The Adventure of Huckleberry Film. Uh -huh. what was what was reading. Was, was reading. reading. By Mark Twain. Mark Twain. 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 Mark Twain. Mm -hmm. What's well, written? Okay. Very good. Number four. The song. The song. Was song. Was recorded. Was recorded. Where recorded. Where recorded. Where or was. Where. Why. Because very, because very, uh -huh. cool. uh -huh. very good. Sure. We're recorded. Hi, baby. Revolution, I hate you. Uh -huh. We're talking about two songs, right? Okay, very good. Yes. And the last one? The Starry Night? The Starry Night was painted. Was painted. Was painted. Was painted. By Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh. Gogh. Very good. My God, you see, you are amazing, guys. <laughs> you are amazing. Would you like more ex practice? Of course, right? As I said, practice makes perfection. Are you agree with me? Yes, of course, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully, everybody is in the WhatsApp. If not, you're going to get in trouble because I, I sent most of the exercises that... Um, can say tool so please try to be there because i'm gonna send it right now our first x-ray sizes as you see we are not wasting time yeah let me check i'm just gonna send here something that i think is going to be really nice for you but take a look here. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully you can see it, guys. If not, just let me know. Okay, let me see if I can send it to you in a different way. Just allow me one moment. Let me open right now my WhatsApp, okay? As soon as you have it, just let me know, okay? Please. Once you receive it. There you go. Okay, there you go. Sorry, sometimes I'm like Shakespeare. Did you guys receive it? Let me know if you did, please. Yeah, yes. you did? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yes, so basically that is going to be your homework, right? It's just a pair word, but okay. I just wanted to do it individually because tomorrow we're going to share with our coworkers or our classmates, okay? Try to do your best. And that is one of the things that we're going to ask tomorrow. But guys, since we are like recapping, right? Recapping some topics besides the one that we just started today, which is yeah. passive with by, passive boy with by. And every class, I'm going to ask you what day it is today. Every class. I'm going to ask somebody, and I, I will ask somebody else who write it for us on the chat to practice the writing, of course. And also, guys, since you already know about the past, maybe um, not everybody will participate in it every day, of course, right? But maybe I can ask some of you, how was your day? So we're going to recap and to review the past of the verb to be and the past of do, which in this case is did. Okay, we're gonna remember simple past because it's one of the topics that, oh my God, is really hard, right? Because you know what? Salvadorians, well, Latin American people, but Salvadorians, we're like starting talking about present, then we go back, and then we move to forward to future. We mix all the verb tenses, right? Because we love to speak. But in English, no. If you're, you, you can do it, you can mix them, but once you learn how to use each of them, okay? But now that we're learning how to use the verb in past, I want you guys to start talking about the past and stay in the past, okay? Because that will also help us with the passive voice as well, because we need to refresh the verb tenses, the past of a regular, regular, Lee said, don't, don't sleep. Who's sleeping, by the way? Who's sleeping? Nobody, right? Nobody. My cat is sleeping. She's sleeping right now, she's late. Like that. Like Liz. <laughs> nah, no, just kidding, guys. Hey, she woke up. Sassy, go back to sleep. Okay, guys. Very good. Any questions? Any doubts? Roxy, Naomi, Carlito, Armando? Uh, I have a question about the section one and the platform. Uh -huh. Tell me. Because I, I work in the platform today mm -hmm. and, and I have problem with the, uh, with the knowledge check in the ah. last part. Uh, I, I, I think I wrote in correct way, but the, the, the platform not accept my answer. It's wrong. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me ask you, in which, you're a section one, but in section one, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 which one you are? It's, it's, uh, let me check. Okay. Don't worry. Is the... All right. Is the oh is a knowledge check is one point nine. Ah, oh, one point nine, okay. Let yes, me check. the 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 number nine, the, the sentence is number nine. The sentence is number nine. All right, let me check. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, when it's you say a, a lot of cheap, yes, race in, in parentheses. Uh huh. In New Zealand, uh, Zealand. Mm -hmm. And the, the answer for me is a race. 
Aha, how you write it? But it's not accepted. It's wrong. How you how you write it? I raised. Can you please write it on the chat? How you write A it? A lot of cheap are raised in New Zealand. No, I know, but can you write it on the chat oh. right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Do your best. Ray, uh, you said that you do not receive the message. Are you in the WhatsApp? Uh, no, I'm talking about Ray. Ray Rainer Osorio. I think it's because you're not in the chat. If you're not in the WhatsApp, you're not going to receive it. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Now you are? Okay, I'm gonna send it again. It's going to be in the no. WhatsApp group, okay? In the WhatsApp group. Oh, so, in the WhatsApp. Yeah, so you gotta be in the WhatsApp group. Okay. If not, I you're not gonna not receive read. it. Yeah, I send it again, just in case Excellent. for future reference. You write the sentence in the chat of Yes, Zoom. yes. No, in the chat of WhatsApp. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Rainer. Rainer, uh -huh. I'm talking about him. <laughs> That's good, but um, I want a Roxana to write her answer on the chat of Zoom. Yes, I, I write, but I I send you, but I don't know why. Are you sure you don't have it? Yes, I, I send. You send yes. it to me or you send it to, so, to everybody? Everybody? Yes. Oh my goodness, I don't have it. I don't, I don't have it. anything in the chat. Of Me neither. Me neither. I don't have it. I don't have it. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. I sent. I sent. You sent it and I don't have it. Can you send it again just in I case? Love. I tried to send in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, do it again. Do it. Yes. I lot of. Okay, you're right in, very good. Rice. I think I'm not a rib in the WhatsApp group. Aha. Uh -huh. You okay. have to join, you have to join Rainer, the WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. I send you. Uh, you said on New Zealand? It is not in, in New Zealand? In. Okay. Yeah, in. But it's my, my finger. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. It's a mistake for my finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the but the 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 work or or, or the I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well the answer is right. What it might be raise, raise in parentheses, and you need to put uh, R raised. Uh huh. Exactly. You need to transform in the passive voice. Uh huh. In the passive voice without. And you by. use the, but you use the simple present uh -huh. of the verb to be. Yes. What Roxana is saying, guys, is that she is right right now. She has finished. Right. We can say the section one. That is the next topic that we are going to see. They haven't seen that. We haven't talked about that. But it's really important to clear what Roxanne is asking because you might face the same situation as she does. That is, guys, the structure of the passive voice without by. 
what is she is talking right now. So uh, that is correct, uh, Roxy. R raised. I, I but it's what in the platform? No. You know what, what happened? Is that you need to better double check if you don't put like many spaces between letters. If you yes. for if you forgot a period, or I wrote in the correct way. Uh, no, it's not. It's not that you wrote it in the wrong way. It's that you gotta. Sometimes uh, the platform does not take the answer right, even though it's right, because you need to fix many things. That might be. I'm not telling you that it's your case. That it might be. Uh, that you need to check uh, lower cases, capital letters, punctuation, or if it's a lot more space between letters, even though the sentence is right, it's not going to take it right. You got it? You know what? You understand what I mean? Yes, yeah. but, uh, but in this case, it's not about the, the period because the answer is only the space for the past, the simple present and the past participle of the verb uh -huh. in parentheses. Uh, yes, of course. It's because you, you, know, you know that it's supposed to be a verb to be before the word raised, right? They're supposed, you already know that. I say uh -huh. that about the, 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 the exercise because in the last, in the last module, I, mm -hmm. I have a problem I had problem with the, the same, the same, and the teacher asked to English Corporativo mm -hmm. to check the platform because oh, yes, there are sometimes I I there are mistakes in the platform. I don't know. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes is a is a technical mistake, but sometimes it's not. So that's what I was asking you about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But and that's you okay. Said to me, and you said to me the last. The, the next class, please. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, definitely. I'm, but but I'm, I'm going to do it right now. That's what I'm doing it. I'm going to answer all the questions right now. And let's double check what could be the reason. Just bear with me. I know guys is taking so long. May I apologize for that? Somebody wants to go to sleep, right? Don't worry. Be hoggies, right? We are still learning. Yes, of course, and you will learn. I promise that. Let me check. All right. I'm going to, I almost finished and done what Miss Roxy is asking for. So there you go. Let me check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I know what could be the reason. Okay. Let me share right now my screen with you because sometimes Roxy, what could be is that you need to like follow this, the, the, the example that they give it to you and the instructions because sometimes it is not that asking you for the whole sentence. It's just asking you just for the part yes. that you need to like put it. So let me share right now my screen with you and you will notice what I'm talking about. Can you see it? Yes. You see? Yes, but in my, yes, uh -huh. erased. Uh -huh. That's but what in I, my case, mm -hmm. it's wrong for me in, my pla in, in, in your platform. In, Try to do yes, it again. Try to refresh the, the page because sometimes that there is like a space that is one more space, even though you don't click it, for some reason, but try to do it again because okay. I, I put it exactly like that same way and it, and it went good. So in this case, if for some reasons it still does give you the, the same mistake, let me know. Okay. I'm going to report, okay? Because what we're here is that we're, we're here to help, you, right? And to, and to, of course, continue and to move on into the platform, right? But don't worry. But I really appreciate that you have mentioned that, Roxy. Thanks. I, I know I really do. I appreciate it too. Yeah, so do it again. And if it still give you the same mistake, please let me know. Okay. But send it directly to my chat. Okay. And I'm going to report it immediately. Doesn't matter at what time you're doing the platform, I will always be there for you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You don't know. Thank you. Now, what happened? 
Welcome. Teacher, um, and can we do all activities at once or do we have to wait until another class? No, no, no. Like Roxy, for example, Roxy has already finished the section one. So you can move on. Don't worry. If for, so for example, uh, we are here in the class, but you said like, Rosie, teacher, you know what? I have doubts in this section because we're starting just day one, when just in section 1.1, but Roxy is just in 1.9. So that means that she already finished the section, but it doesn't matter. If you have, for example, like a question, bring it on because that will help you, everybody. Maybe it's, everybody's not in the same page, but you will be in the future, okay? So the, it will help all your classmates, okay? So that's why I'm, I'm glad that you bring it up. I'm not like, hey, she's talking. No, no way, of course. We are here to help you and to work together, as I said, as a team, okay? Excellent. So, no, Thank very you, good. Sir. So I'm, I'm so happy that, that Roxy mentioned that because I may, you have learned today, right? It's not a topic that we have seen. We're going to see it later on, but it's really good that she had mentioned it. Maybe you're going to face the same problem. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, hopefully not. But if that's the case, we're going to report. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> okay. No. Yes, hugs yes. and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye bye. Thank good you. Night, bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.